and we're back. Part two of the video. Smallville's gonna do his mega haul. Take it away, Smallville. All right. First off, I got this big, massive fucking set to Fuck uh, me, man. Lawrence of a little. I mean, Arabia. Oh. I was gonna say Labia there, but Lawrence of Labia. <clears throat> but uh, it, it it is. It's a pretty cool set. Let me get into some. Uh, like the book alone, apart from the movie, which is about a, it. apart from the movie, which is amazing. The book alone is just like holy um, shit. It's a big ass picture well, book here. Guy goes, uh, I'm, well, as I'm browsing through the flea market, yeah. guy goes, uh, hey man, you a collector? And I'm like, yes, I am. Thank you for asking. Yeah. And he goes, well, what's this worth to you? And I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah, he, and, and, you, he, and you were like, would you say 30? <clears throat> I'm like, oh, Jesus. So I'm like, can I open it? He goes, definitely. So I do this, and I go, holy shit. Fucking, Jeez. holy shit. That, and then there's a fucking there's oh, a what film, they call it? A cell. film cell in this. What the fuck? Um, so, I go, dude, I'll give you cash, 30 bucks right now. And the guy goes, deal. And he shakes my fucking hand, I hand him my money, and I'm, and I'm one awesome, cool set later. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. But, uh, so I, th I like, I mean, I quite enjoy this set now. I mean, I have never seen the movie, so I'm looking forward it's to it. pretty fantastic that movie. Doing. I got uh, the whole, like, I got the whole, like, list of actors that I would put in a remake of Lawrence of Arabia. Oh yeah? With, we'll with, hear that after yeah. maybe we'll do a video I'll about it. I'll tell you, Michael Fassbender's Lawrence. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Michael Fassbender's, yeah. Uh, my biggest guilty pleasure movie of all time. And you're not not going to buy this at $2? Yeah, I'd probably so, get that. Uh, so Dirty Dancing. <laughs> I, I don't know why this movie gets me, but I, like, I mean, I'll, I'll watch, I'll watch. I've had the time of my life. Anyway. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Uh, movie I've never seen, but I'm looking forward to. Great and at movie. two bucks, it's such a good price. I had to read that in high school. Uh, the book. Yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. In the heat of the night, with uh, Sidney Poitier. <laughs> Sidney Poitier. Poitier. Um, all right, let's just do this here. Uh, Train Spotting, Blu-ray. Nice. Uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief. This was given to me for free, so I'm cool with that. Uh, the Great Gatsby. Uh, <clears throat> full Metal Jacket Digi Book. It's a must get for me. It's a fucking do a DVD documentary in here. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade all my should, uh, all my Warner Brothers it. Snapper Case DVDs to Blu-ray Digi Books because, like, you know, there's of it's course, necessary. Of course. Yeah. Uh, movie I uh, I read and I was like, oh, this sounds amazing. Great film. I have uh, a DVD. Cinema Paradiso. Excellent film. Um, I picked up this this uh, this horror remake. Uh, I think we should watch the original. Tonight. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. That'd be good. Uh, it's the uh, the last house on the left Good with remake. Uh, Garrett Dillahunt and uh, Aaron Paul. And the original Sarah dude, Paxton. it's a very different kind of movie. It's a very gritty '70s grindhouse horror film. It's very different, you know. Yeah. Very different. And it has the chick from Superbad in it. Yeah, Rebecca yeah. Mark McGuire. Yeah. Um, and then you get to see Sarah Paxton get raped <laughs> by and, Garrett Dillahunt and shot <laughs> and shot. Yeah, and she's still a fucking lady. <laughs> And uh, I got I got mud, uh, my number one of 2013, hands down. Where right now, come, anyway. Did it come with the slipcover? Fuck no. And I bought it at Walmart too. Oh, what? I was I was a little upset. I got I mine at Walmart. Upset. I had a slipcover. Um, and uh, oh, the Ice Man. I think this is, this is my number two of yeah, this year. Yeah, that's great. It's, I'm, not, uh, I'm not still I'm still not sure what my number one is. I'm gonna have to find out when I see Prisoners and Don John. I think one of those oh, might Don sneak John, in there. Yeah, dude. dude. Yeah, we're seeing that tomorrow. Yeah, we're seeing Prisoners, um, Don John, and probably Rush or Captain Phillips. I don't know yet. <clears throat> um, Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunter. I watched maybe like 20 minutes of this on the, Netflix. Those witches look scary as fuck. And uh, I loved it. The only reason That's I good, really huh? loved it is because uh, they're going back to the original form of the witch. Yeah. Ugly as fuck and on and flying on brooms. Yeah. Now they're not Emma Watson hot. That's what I mean. I love when they're when they're ugly mole fucking early childhood story <laughs> ugly. You know what I mean? I think I think in dark. Remember in Dark Shadows, Ava Green played the witch. That was like oh, the best. Okay. That, that was I think that's my favorite like witch character in like the past twenty five years. Cause she uh, mainly because of her performance and how hot she is. Ava yeah. Green is so gorgeous. Yeah. Holy fuck. Uh, I got this. Oh, sorry, sorry. Just retardedly gorgeous. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. uh, I got this bootleg cut. To uh, almost famous, That's cool. I love this set. The only yeah, reason I, mean, I say this is because I, when watching the director's cut, the bootleg cut, you feel a little more 
compassion for the characters. You get to know them on a personal level in a sense. Because there's a lot more you can you can learn about the characters. Is there more scenes or something? Yeah, it's, 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 about, it's about 40 minutes longer. Fuck, okay. We I should, got, we definitely need to I gotta it. get, I gotta get this edition then. I gotta get uh, it. Dude, it was like, I think it's like 10 bucks at fucking Walmart. I think it's worth an upgrade then. Um, okay. And Apocalypse Now, or um, a cock lips Now. A cock lips Now. Uh, it, cl- it includes the, like, the original Apocalypse Now, then the, uh, the redo. Yeah, the redux, um, surfing, yeah. I say redo. Redo. <laughs> you say redo. Right? And, uh, yeah. fucking Hearts of Darkness. Yeah, the, the, that, I, lo- I love that that comes I, with I the fucking documentary. I don't really think my DVD edition comes with that, but we'll see. I might have to upgrade that, too. Shit, I, I'm, re- I'm really considering upgrading some shit, you know what I mean? Uh... I got the Bruce Willis is John McClane Die Hard 25th Anniversary Blu-ray Collection. I'm gonna Bazing. get it. That, that's probably going to be my next haul. Um, I can feel that. The matte finish it's just, there. Oh. That's matte. And it comes with uh, the, the first four, yeah. uh, not the uh, new one, but I'm going to yeah. get that eventually. Um, yeah. Haven't watched yet. It's cool. Um, I got Bob, Band of Brothers. Yeah. Bob. Up there. And... Uh, Last but not least, I got Bonnie and Clyde box set. This little cool, cool DVD box set That's here. Cool. It comes with uh, this one, just two, a photo book and a press book. I really hope they don't actually remake this. I, don't, I think it's unnecessary. It's like a, it'd be unnecessary. I wouldn't to remake even this. know who I would cast. As yeah, this, like as exactly. You know, like this. Like this movie stands still stands the test of time. It's one of the first vi- real violent movies ever made. Like, Arthur Penn, the director, really like, made an impact with this fucking film with, when it comes to, like, shooting actual violence on film. Putting real violent shit on film. Because you see motherfuckers get shot in the face in this movie. No, wait, I've like, actually never seen this movie, so I'm looking forward great. to giving it a watch. It's great, now, man. You're gonna is it in it. black and white, or is it in color? Okay, it's it's in color. It's in color, but yeah, like, it's got so many great performances by, like, Gene, Gene Hackman... And uh, Michael J. Pollard, there's it's so amazing, dude. Like it's you're, you'll love it. It's sweet. It, it's, it's great. So so that's my haul. Yeah, that's that's Smallville's haul. That's my haul. Um, yeah, we pretty much we were gonna do like a movie review, but like we haven't seen much shit. So, I like, haven't been in the movie since Kickass Two. And I haven't been in the movie since the, the World's End. Yeah, I saw the World's End a while ago, like back in. That might August, have been the end of August. Well. Maybe yeah, it's been a while. I kind of took a whole month off not going to the movies. But yeah, we're probably gonna do a movie review sooner, soon enough, because we're gonna go see like a lot of films tomorrow. Probably, yeah. probably three or four. At and least. Uh, if if I'm not doing, I think I am for my birthday. Like me and my cousin are doing something. Yeah. But if if I don't, Friday we should go see Bad Grandpa. Fuck yeah. Or there's uh, that other movie that comes out on the twenty fifth, the one with Fassbender, the counselor. The can- oh, I I want to see that. So, really I mean, Scott, yeah, that's really Scott, man. It's really Scott. For sure. So if there's enough time, like if I have any time on Friday, then. Don't uh, Great, and, it's, and, it's, and it's, I love how that movie's based off a Cormac McCarthy novel. Like, <coughs> yeah, it is. And, and Javier Bardem novel. is in it, and like, he was already yeah, in No, no Country for Old Men. Man. So basically, he's going to be in every fucking Cormac McCarthy movie adaptation, which I kind of like. Oh, and, and uh, I made a mistake. The guy who created Mud was the guy who did uh, Jeff Nichol. Take Shelter. Jeff Nichol did Take Shelter, but, yeah. So uh, you're probably... Because he's in... Michael Shannon's in every one of that dude's movies, so I figured that might be one of his, so I'm I'm, I'm just mistaken. I I am still looking forward to what what Ariel Roman does next. Me too, me too. If we can start with that, then your your career's going to be flourishing. But yeah, so those are our hauls. We'll have another one for you probably next month, depending on how how much shit we get. And yeah, and hope like I mean I I am gonna be moving back. Yeah, he's gonna be moving back. So we've so, seen a lot more videos probably uh, when that happens. Yeah, because I mean, especially if I start working again. So yeah, um, you know, there should be quite a, quite a bit more videos. Right on. And I'm gonna get my own phone once I get the money. So right on. So I'm gonna start uploading. My own. Oh yeah, exactly. Because I can't. Fortunately, I can't upload shit on yeah. my fucking BlackBerry. It's retarded. Yeah, yeah basically, when in our past videos, like. You might have heard Smallville say he's going to be doing his own videos. He, he tried. Like, you tried. I like, tried. You, he, but he couldn't. But you'll be seeing him when he gets the proper equipment. And, you know, you'll... Hopefully... Once I get a half-decent phone or I learn how to use my video camera... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Scrowny, that's when I'll start doing... Scrowny it. Productions. Scrowny will Productions will be... In come into full fruition. Sh- like, yes. Full swing. Very anyway, soon. Yes. Yeah, so... Very soon. So that's it for that's it for our video guys. We're the video vigilantes. I'm Heisenberg. I'm Smallville. And keep on collecting. Peace.